another town. Rain said to get Bill Temple and smash that press. Well, I ain't to get my clothes. What are you fellas? Right ahead and tell Blaine the Temple's on his way. You, Dan. I mean... Still after us, Bill? They're out of sight, all of them. That's Blaine's gang, all right. I recognize them. Sure been too bad of the chorus and busted the press. Well, this is one press they won't break. This one is going to turn out copy, Keith. Copy that'll put a rope around Jim Blaine's neck. Come on, let's go. Come on, Alex. at him, stranger. Carpenter too, eh? Can't you read? Handy with your shooting irons, mister? Just fair. I get some going and coming. This one's about your size. <laughs> I was figuring on taking root in this bird, but I don't need any planting just yet. How about fixing my horse up with a set of shoes? Horses are men, it's all the same to me. I fit them all. Well, take a look at that hind wheel too, will you? Yes, sir. Come on, get up there. Get up there and make them a laugh. What do you think I got you here for? I'm tired, Jim. Honest, I am. Oh, I was here nearly all last night. Oh, you were, huh? Oh. Morning, Ruben. You lied to me, Jim Clayton, all along. Ever since I married you, there's been nothing but lies. You promised me Andy wouldn't have to come near this place. But you treat him like your son. I am treating him like my son. Yes. Making him dance in a barroom. One of these days, I'll... Sure, I know all that. If you can figure a way to get out of this country and leave me, why, hop to it. You think you have me licked? That's all right. Mom, I like to dance. Honest, I do. Why, sure he does. Go on. <laughs>
Well, we made a good start, Whiskey. We found out that Blaine runs the town. And we also met up with the undertaker. Huh. He's the last fellow that I'd want to meet. What about me wetting my whistle? After I catch up with Blaine, you can catch up with your drinking. Then we'll both be satisfied. Stay here till I come back. Well, that ain't Bill Temple. How are you, Bill? Just standing, Peck. <laughs> Where'd you get that hat? On the fellow that asked the same question. Hell the dude, ain't he? I'll say, he <laughs> He's sure good. How about a little more sugar? Sugar? Don't, huh? <laughs> Where'd you get the boots, Bill? Bottom. I never stand in a dead man's shoes. Well, I'm doggone with these bills. <laughs> How are you? How are things down in Panama, Bill? Fine. How's everything here? Oh, great, Bill. Couldn't be better. You told me that in Santa Fe, Buck, but you notice I'm still wearing it. <laughs> sure. You notice I'm laughing, don't you? For the marvelous reception. I'm buying. The drinks are on me. You've added some new ones to your string, Blaine. Meaning who? How about the kid? Oh. I married his boss since I last saw you. I just can't keep that kid out of here. He's got dancing feet. Mm -hmm. 
I see you lugged your safe with you, too, when you came to cash in on this boom. Why, sure. You left the last town kind of hasty. You didn't have time to lug your printing press, I reckon. That's what I want to talk to you about. No printing press, no newspaper. <laughs> I may be big-hearted, but this town will get along without a paper. Too bad, Blaine. I figured there was news here that folks would like to know about. You're still the banker, aren't you? Sure. Folks always trust me, Bill. It'd be funny if they blew that safe like the one in the Panaman. Darned if it ain't the same safe. Sure. I had it fixed. Your printing press was smashed about the same time. Yeah. I always figured that someone didn't want me to print what I knew about that safe. I know what you're hinting at, Bill. But get this. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry in this town owes me. I can break them or make them. We couldn't use you or your newspaper in Boomtown. I added another notch to my gun since you left the Panaman, Blaine. Yeah? Who was it? You knew him. His name's Carlton. I kind of figured he had a hand in smashing my press. Carlton? Yeah. The trouble with him, he drank too much. It's as I said, Blaine. It gets your nerves. And it'll put you down. Save up. How do you feel after your bath? <laughs> That's a loose for ducks. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's it all about, bud? Bill Templeton town. He never could take a joke. My name is Bill, uh, Bill Temple. What's yours? My name's Annie, mister. Glad to meet you. Same here, and hope to know you better. I'm starting a paper here. How'd your boy like to be a printer? You're very kind. I'd like to be a printer, mister. Well, that's settled. We start tomorrow morning. Morning, ma'am. How about a cup of coffee, miss? Coffee, ma'am. You know, I'm figuring on uh, settling down here. Folks are so sociable and uh, everything. 
I'm glad you think so, mister. My name's Temple. My friends call me Bill. I saw you... And I saw you, Em. I saw you shoot that man. I reckon he could use that bloodbath. You might have killed him. Not a chance. We both knew where our bullets were going. Miss, uh, uh, Miss, excuse me, I, uh, I forget, I forget the name. I never told you my name. Yeah, yeah. How about another cup of coffee? How come you ain't drinking, Blaine? Oh, I cut it out. It's, it's bad for the nerves. Is that what's the matter with your nerves? My nerves are all right. Too bad yours ain't. Uh, that guy never could take a joke. But let me tell you something. I'm through fooling with Bill Temple. Yeah? Can I depend on that? You sure can. Give me another plug. Help yourself. We didn't figure on Temple being here, Blaine. Is that what makes you nervous? I ain't nervous. We go through with everything just like I said. Are you sure Temple ain't going to start his newspaper? I don't know. He's got another notch on his gun. Well, I ain't the slow on the leather myself. That ought to be his last. <laughs> Don't be scared, miss. Just a couple of boys having a lark. I know. Guns. Shooting. Those file marks on your gun. It's all too horrible. You keep books, don't you? Well, so do I. The sight of these saves me from having to draw sometimes. Boasting. Of the men you killed. You're wrong, miss. Just a record of those I beat to the draw. Their life or mine. I lost someone I love very dearly. I suppose the man who killed him uses your excuses too. Was he? He was my father. I said I was planning to, I was planning to settle down here. You can keep these for me, Miss. You mean? I mean that I'd like to rent space here. I'm going to start a newspaper and a fight with ink. An editor? If you're right, you'll win without these. The pen is mightier than the sword, you know. Doggone it! I'll use that for my motto. I hope you're right that it's mightier than the six gun. They don't wear swords nowadays. Is it a deal, miss? Miss? My name's Morton, Mr. Temple. Please well, to meet you. Most folks call me Laura. Laura? Where do we go to? We don't. We're planning ourselves right here. Did you say plant? Huh. 
Take a look at this. So you didn't think he'd start a newspaper, Blaine? There it is. Yeah? Well, paper or no paper, he knows too much. Who that? Temple? Yes, Temple. Well, why don't you finish it? Oh. <laughs> Are finished. <laughs> <laughs> writing on that window. You'll have time to find out. Now get away from here. I'll get word to you two when this job is ready. All right. Pete, get the rest of that stuff in. We're in business. All right, Bill. Hand down, Albert. of my paper will sure burn up this town and curl Blaine's hair. I'm wise to that fellow. Why? What do you mean? He's a crook. Wait till you read this. The record to my father's claim. Everything he left me is in Blaine's safe.
for you. Who? Blaine's man. Buck. Don't, Bill, please. You go get a doctor. Show yourself, Buck. I'm waiting for you. Get to get a break? I'm listening for the last time. <laughs> you can see, Ruby. Everything will be all right. No. I'm going to tell Bill Temple everything. You're not going to tell anybody anything. Let me go, Jim Blaine. Let me go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Temple. 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 Don't hit me anymore, Temple. Let me out. Let me out, Temple. Oh, Temple, don't hit me anymore. I know when I've had enough. He got him. Well, he had a good time. There's a souvenir for Blaine. And tell him. <laughs> knew that you and I are not the best of friends, Temple. She was afraid there might be trouble between us. She didn't want me to go looking for you, and 
And she, she tried to take my, my gun out of a holster. It uh, fell to the floor and exploded. It was an accident. I wonder. That was Buck's plane. He went gunning for the ink slinger, and Temple left that for a souvenir for you. How's the boy? The kid's all right. Bullet creased him a bit, stunned him. Nothing serious. All he needs is rest. That's all. Rest. That's all. Rest. Kill that man. It was his life or mine. Another notch on your gun. It's not a bad idea. There isn't room enough around here for all of us. I'm joining friends down at the creek. They're leaving for the Pinto Canyon country. Well, how about the boy? And the papers you said were in Blaine's safe. I'll arrange later with Blaine about the papers. The boy's asleep. When he awakens, he'll probably want his mother. He probably will want his mother. How do you feel, Andy? Oh, I'm all right. How's yourself? I'm all right, too. I'll never forget what you did for me. How about my mom coming to see me? <laughs> Say, I can get up. How about us going to see her? You and I are men, aren't we? Sure. And we got to take things as they come, don't we? Sure we do. I've got some bad news for you. Has, has anything happened to Mom? She, your mom, gone away. She told me to tell you she'd be waiting for you, old timer. I guess I know what you mean. I thought you would. How about you leaving me alone for a while, Bill? Sure.
My hat's off to you, mister. What do I have to call you to make you draw? You folks will witness that he's trying to put me in a spot so he can murder me? I'm buttoning my coat, and you do the same with your mouth. And let your six shooters do the talking. I'll have no hand in killing. You're a liar, Blaine. You're a murderer and a thief, and you'll save these folks the trouble of hanging you by reaching for your gun. You won't draw until I do, Temple, and you can't rile me into doing that. If there was any hang in it, it'd be you, providing there was a law in this territory. Well, once my paper goes to press, we'll have that law, and these folks know the truth. I'm telling you, Temple, that lying sheet will never see daylight. What did he mean by uh, platoon? I just can't wait to read that paper. What's fighting you, Blaine? It'll stick me time. Say, I thought you was awful food. Bad for your nerves. <laughs> I don't blame you for these abraser. We heard what happened downstairs. Say, that ink slinger has you bluffed, Blaine. Uh, bluff nothing. I'm taking no chances on losing this hall. Barstow of the Pico sold his herd. You'll be leaving that bankroll with me tomorrow for safekeeping. At least 20,000 more in that safe. Then we clean house tomorrow. You bet. And I believe in the safe the same as I did the last time. A half turn and it opens, like this. There you are. That's easy. Yeah. Providing Bill Temple don't beat us to it with his paper. He won't. We'll take care of that.
you and me. And Blaine's got her record in a safe.
Well, here she is, and finders keepers. <laughs> sure looks like Blaine's got to buy a new safe for the next job. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who's here. Hello, boys. You were a little early with your job, weren't you? And you ruined my safe. Well, we figured, what's the use of waiting for this cattle guy in this dough, says I. Sure, says he. Especially with this stampede and gold rush coming on. Well, he might not come at all. So we just kind of hanker to join this said strike. Especially since we could own the whole darn works. I figured you'd be here. Boomtown's a goner. In another hour, there won't be a man, woman, or child left in the place. Now, if you'll just give me my share of this easy loot, we'll travel on together. Where is your gun, Blaine? Getting careless, ain't you? I came away in such a hurry, I forgot it. Well, that's sure too bad. Well, when you're up in the Pinto County, uh, look us up, Blaine. Sure, look us up. We'll be glad to see you. <laughs> I wonder. Well, so long. Wait a minute. We'll divide later. Let's get out of here. So long, Blaine. So long, Blaine. So long.
Boomtown. A ghost city. Yes. And your paper. You never published the first issue. There's no need now. If it hadn't been for Pete, I would never have known. You took a chance on your life for me. I still can't figure what became of those papers you gave Blaine to put in his safe. They were not in the loot of the saddlebags. Hey, Bill! Hey, Laura! I found something that you'll want mighty bad. What did you give me for it? These are the records and papers filed by your father on Pinto Canyon claim. You're rich, Laura. You mean we're rich, Bill. Hey, what am I gonna get? Well. Where are you going, Pete? Over to Barbary to wet my whistle. You got any objections? No! no. Ha, 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 ha,